Okay. If you guys haven't watched our last week video, go make sure you check that out right now so you know what's happening in our life. But we leave in just a couple days and I need to get all of this put away. We're gonna be living in this thing for quite a while and we have to pack all of our stuff because all of our home belongings are all in the storage container now and we are not gonna have access to them for a long time. So, so let's organize the RV. Get this thing started. We also, and then I was gonna get the trim work done, but I'm not gonna do that now. Ben's putting some extra sealant up here um, behind the slide. I think I'll leave the trim down still, which I'm a little bit bummed about because I have it all painted and ready. But I'm just going through and wiping down all of my trim right now. I believe this is alder wood. Our neighbor actually has a mill and gave it to us for free. So that was so nice of him. I think if I didn't have alder wood, I would go with a pine, just because I think pine is really pretty when it's stained or cedar. But since this is free and our neighbor is fantastic, we're going with that. Um, so I'm just wiping it all down because I just went through and sanded it quickly and I've decided to whitewash it. Originally, I was going to go with this. Hold on. I was going to go with this darker stain that matched the countertop of the... It was going to match the counter where the kids eat. But I just felt like it brought down the ceiling a lot. So I thought, okay, well maybe I'll go white. But I don't want... I don't want that perfect trim white look that maybe you'd get from spraying or rolling. I want the grain to show. I want the imperfections to show. So I decided to whitewash for the first time. So let's give it a go. We leave in like a day. So I gotta get this done really quickly. We got our windows down. Driving on a 405, sing along to the radio. Mm -mm. But it's okay. We'll do that later. It won't kill us to have unfinished trim. And then back here, oh my gosh, guys, it's just such, it's such a mess. There's so much to do. All right, let's get this thing livable. Do you guys remember how I had such bad allergies in Montana if you don't watch this video? But I just came into the RV and now my eyes are starting to water again and I just had a total moment of being like, oh my word, what if it wasn't Montana? What if it wasn't Idaho? What if it's the RV? What if it's the RV? <laughs> I really hope it's not. What would be my allergen? I wouldn't even know where to begin looking for that but i really hope i'm not allergic to this brand new motorhome we just bought that <laughs> that would be the topper of life right now i guess we'll find out i think i became a little too ambitious about what i can take and what i can't take for while we're kind of in between homes <clears throat> but the problem is is that the kids are going to be starting school while we're on the road so I have to bring, we're going to be doing so many different types of things while we're on the road. So I have to bring like dress clothes and play clothes and dirty clothes and swim clothes and just the whole variant. So that's where I'm at right now. Just trying to figure all that out and how I'm going to get it to fit in here in an organized manner. So I'm going to go in fast speed right now. We're going to make it someday. Nothing's going to get in our way. We will be the best. So make sure that you don't miss out, just be there. Back under the bed. I don't know how I'm organizing shoes in this thing quite yet. Way to the top. We will hear the sound of one million people screaming our names when we're backstage. We'll play loud, surfing the crowd. Everybody's jumping around. Yeah, that's the place where I want. Hi. Do you need my assistance? 
Ben left all of his Montana clothes in the closet of the RV, which means that we've been home for like a while. We've been home for a bit. So you haven't needed any of those clothes. So I have suggest that we just get rid of them. What do you think? I don't think so. Because <laughs> okay, just go through and decide what you want. <laughs> in my defense, are they over here? Yeah. Oh, wow. In my defense, since we've been back, oh, wow. it had, it's been like full packing and getting ready to move mode. So I've probably worn the same outfit like 20 times. It's true. We both since smell we've been a little back. bit. Yeah. I think I've showered once or twice in that time frame too. Okay. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> too much information. I say we get rid of that. Yay! That's been a three-year battle. What's really exciting is most of my wardrobe is all like 40 to 60 degree clothing. And now going forward, that's going to be a much smaller part of my wardrobe. Hooray! Okay, let's go pack these. When we lived on the road in our travel trailer for a year, I never had a toaster. I always just toasted our toaster. I toasted our toast in the oven, but now we do, the kids do like avocado bread for breakfast almost every morning. And I am just not willing to turn on the oven to make avocado toast every morning. So I bought a little $10 toaster at Target. So hopefully that won't last more than just a day. And I'm just getting everything organized in here. I keep my meals here and I need to get some different cups because last time I traveled these banged together pretty thoroughly which never bothered me in the travel trailer because I didn't have to listen to it. So now I need to buy some plastic cups and kind of get my brain wrapped around living on the road again. It's just crazy. So my goal for this RV is to make it feel homey and cozy for the kids but it's also to make it as quiet as possible while we're driving. On our drive to Montana, um, it was fairly loud. The loudest thing was these, because it's just a shelf directly on the hooks, and then there's not enough weight on it to keep it stable, so it's just rattling the whole entire time. And while it wasn't terrible, it's preventable. So I bought these felt pads. I got them off Amazon and I got the big squares because I want to make it the perfect size for the little shelves, those little brackets that it hangs on. So I'm just going to cut them. Come on. It's starting out harder than it should be. If you guys have other suggestions on how to make shelves a little bit quieter in your motorhome, let me know. I'm gonna put some on the sides right here as well because that hits along the wall. So let's do that. If you are new to RVing, then you will soon find out that the projects literally never end. There is always something to repair, replace, make better. There's always something that can be done. Okay, so the padding on the side actually really helped. Now it's like really snug as a bug in a rug and it's gonna make no noise. Yay! Sing, won't you sing with me? Leave everything for me. Stay the night, oh your flight walk through the rain with me get soaked to the skin feel free shut the world out let's hang out i am getting my command strips hung i had one of these in the travel trailer and i really loved it it can hold your broom so that's what I'm working on hanging right now. If you're looking for a way to organize your brooms or vacuum, they have different size versions of these in command strips and I highly, highly recommend them. We never had to rehang the one that we had in the um, travel trailer. It worked really well. Oh, I used to see in colors. Now it's gray. So I'm just getting rid of a bunch of stuff. We're, can you help Lawson? He's stuck outside. Um, oh, no, 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 no. Stop. 
That'll break it, buddy. Teach him how to open it, babe. Okay, I think I'm going to be done with the RV for today. I got 99% of it done, and then I'll keep working on this throughout the week. And then we're going to take off. Don't, don't push it. Hey, buddy. Oh, how do you yeah. feel about moving? Are you excited? Yeah. I love that your shirt is backwards and inside out. Oh, Miller, how do you feel about moving? I'm so happy. Oh, good. It's the final countdown. Blue, 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 blue. <laughs> okay, so we just got home from saying goodbye to everyone. We're about to put the doors on the trailer. Miller is saying goodbye to our cat. <laughs> Weirdly enough, those cats still love them. I want to show you our empty house, so come on with me. Also, our dog got groomed today, and she's so soft and smells fantastic. Uh, oh, yeah. You're such a good dog. You're such a good puppy. Yeah. Miller sounds like a minion. Come to my empty home. Empty bathroom. Empty kitchen. Feels crazy. And it's so echoey. I don't feel sad, I just feel ready. Do you, how do you feel, babe? I'm ready to go. This has been a, this has been a long process. I mean, I guess it's gone pretty quick, but. It's been three and a half weeks, four weeks. Yeah, but it's been three and a half weeks of total mayhem. So I'm just ready to be done with it. And I'm excited. I'm excited for the people that are coming into this house and I'm excited for us to be on a new adventure. I don't know what I'm doing to you. I just realized that was the whole time we're talking. I'm just giving you nice care. Thanks, babe. Yeah, well. All right, I am doing the last step, installing the bulkhead. We literally packed this thing as full as it possibly could, and we fit everything that we wanted to, so it was literally perfect. A lot of the last stuff that we threw in here, we literally just <laughs> chucked it on the top, so I'm guessing that as it drives, it's gonna be a few things that shift around. It'll be a fun surprise when we open this thing up. Watch out. Uh. Woo! Uh. What, are, what are those, Mom? I think it has to go the other way. It's down like that. And then folds up and around. This thing is a beast! world. What are you supposed to do this? Push it forward. Dad, you can't get me. Seriously? Alright, goodbye all of our stuff. Hopefully some of it is intact when we get back or when we get to Texas. The next time we see you, we'll be at our new house in Texas! Everyone say bye, Steph! Say bye! But you know what? If it doesn't make it there, it's just Steph. minutes until we leave. So we're taking, good job, buddy. So we're taking one last 
harvest trip through our orchard to grab a whole bunch of apples because they're all ripe right now. Oh yeah! So a bunch of apples for the road. Oh yeah! It's our last yeah. time picking apples here. Oh yeah! Before we go to Texas. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Wes, are you gonna pick somebody? What are you, what are you doing? Are you feeling sad? We got a big old bag full of apples. Come on, we gotta see what's inside. Ready to go. Ten bucks says this bag's gonna break before we get back to the RV. One more. One more. One more. I don't know what else to say. One more. Wait, wait. I'm gonna miss this place. Get the hand off. No, don't don't take that like that. That'll break it, buddy. Okay? So Leave them in there. Alright, it's time to go. Wait, no, no, I'm just I'm, I'm just taking it. Is it good? Yeah. Okay, good. Bye guys, tiny office. Bye guys. He's waving at us. <laughs> He's waving at us. Our neighbor.